All right, today let's talk about Yieldmax's Misty ETF based on the MicroStrategies uh, options trading. I do own Misty, and I'm putting a question out there to all you seasoned investors or just common sense people. Misty has been doing really well uh, price wise. We are seeing what we almost hit 30 or 29.68 as of now. Big spike up 29.64 as we're looking over here on TradingView. So what if your average cost basis is say $26 and now you're up three bucks a share, $3 plus a share. You are showing a total gain since you purchased the stock, but you know a dividend is coming out. Say you're making more net asset value. Say you went up more in uh, price and you have a profit over what the dividend will pay out next week. So say you're up 2,000 and you know the dividend's only gonna pay out 1,000. And then once they pay out the dividend, you know the stock price will correct, you know, to reflect the, not reflect, but it usually goes down a couple bucks due to the payout. What do you do? How do you play that? Do you take the money now and run knowing, knowing that, uh, you're going to only get less if you wait and then the market's going to, the price on the Misty is going to go down a few bucks and you lose some of that profit. Um, here's what I'm thinking is maybe you do take the stock profit based on the net asset value on the stock price. Why, why am I saying that? Here's what, here's what we see. If you go over to their news, their distribution schedule, Let's do fiat. That was last week. They announced it, what the actual dividend was, 10, 16, Wednesday. Then the actual X date, I think when they take it off the books, you know, and then the stock is affected, the fiat actually went down the 17th. So if you get the news early and you're watching this and you know, oh my God, I'm up on Misty, but the dividend is, you know, it's not 185 this month. It's only one dollar. Oh my gosh, I'm only going to make a thousand bucks, but I'm already up. Let's say two thousand bucks. So you just dump it as soon as you can that day. Get the 2K. That might be the way to go. I'm just talking it out. You get the 2K based on the stock value, knowing that if you held it the next day. You know, oh my gosh, you get a dollar per dividend, but now the stock price is at 29, but it's going to drop to 27 on the 17th of that month. And uh, well, here, let's do the real month. It's going to be the 23rd for um, Misty. They're going to announce what the actual dividend is. And I, th I think their news comes out during stock time, stock trading hours, uh, market trading hours, right? So you say, oh my gosh, it's one dollar boy that's not what i was expecting i was hoping for at least 185 or higher and wow i'm already up i'm more on the stock price so maybe i should just dump it today take my money more than i would have got with the dividend and then the next day what they're going to do we're at 29 right now right let's look at this again trading view yeah 29.40 hovering around 29.50 right coal coal beans right and uh you go ahead and you say Boom, you dump it that day, knowing that if you waited, you're going to just get, you know, a half of what you're up on the uh, stock price. And then the stock price is going to go down. So then that erases your kind of your net asset profits and then rinse and repeat. So I think if you can do it, if you can, I'm, this is what I'm going to try next week. I'm going to see if I can get this news during the Wednesday stock trading day. And then if they say, oh my gosh, it's, it's not a great dividend this month. For Misty, and I know I'm up from a say a twenty six dollar average cost basis, and it's at thirty. Uh, I think get out, take that money, and then what happens the next day they pay out the dividend. You know you won't get. I don't think you get that because you're already sold, right? And then um, you buy back in. I don't know if you can do that. We'll see how this works on the twenty third. The timing of it, and then you know it's going to drop a few bucks, and then boom, you just buy back in because you know there's kind of upper momentum on Misty. But you can maybe just trade the stock price as well, you know, if you want as well, in addition to doing the monthly dividend or yeah, the monthly dividend. Uh, it's all timing. It's all paying attention. The secret is knowing that if they come out with this, this price, this announcement 
that it doesn't affect the price until the next day. And you have to make sure this, this uh, uh, dividend announcement is during stock trading hours. Let's go check what happened on the 1016 with fiat and maybe we'll answer our question. A little thought mental exercise today on how to maximize money, profits, and stuff like that. Uh, let's see, trading view. And like fiat's down, it was up at 21. And now we're back down after they paid X dividend and you know, market's been doing better, Coney and S, so this is inverse of Coney. So you know, it's gonna go down. Um, hit fiat. And there's their D right here for dividend. See that? So they paid, that's the 17th right here, guys. There, see the little D, dividend, X date. Oh, uh, let's see, 145 is what they paid. So it's down 40 cents from the previous month. That adds up, right? All right, so let's do, this is regular hours, let's do, Extended trading hours. I didn't break it. All right. So here's the shaded area. So this is the 16th. So here the price on the 16th was was not bad. Oh, it was down. It was down. It was dropping over time. Okay, because the market was going up. <clears throat> so before the dividend announcement on Fiat, it was about 18. A little over 18 and we're going through and the 17 yeah so my play here would be look this is still the 16th at 1700 hours market is now closed in here this this area right here yeah 1530 so then this is uh after hours trading and then the next morning, of course, it goes down because it's X date on the dividend. Make sense? So I'm thinking this coming Wednesday, the 23rd for Misty, if you can get the news on Misty's dividend and act accordingly before the market close and say, oh my God, it's not, I'm going to get less in dividends than I am in the stock price valuation based on my cost basis. I should just dump this now, take the money, boom. Rinse and repeat. The next day they'll they'll drop it because they'll pay the dividend, and Misty will probably drop two or three bucks. And uh, do you? But then you just take that money and uh, snowball it, compound it, roll it back in. So you're kind of getting your own dividend through the net asset value without getting the dividend. Does that make sense? I'm gonna try that next week. Has everyone ever done this? Is it stupid? The secret or the trick is gonna be: Does the, um, is the news come out before the stock market closes? Let's go back over here real quick. And there's one way to check this. I'm on the Yield Max site right here. Go to news. Dum dum dum. Eight minutes in. Let's get this video wrapped up, guys. I'm so happy my HVAC is back on. I made a video yesterday about just a stupid uh, disconnect box breaker switch went. So stupid. Oh, anyway. All right, here's the distribution announcement for Fiat last week. And it came out on. Yeah, it came out on Wednesday, right? But at what time? I think it did come out during the day. I was surprised I could see it. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, my God, it came out. Wow, they do. Do they? Yeah, 0600. Even if that says Eastern Time, ET, Eastern Time. Even if it's GMT, well, that would be, that would be the night before. You know, five hours ahead for GMT. So I'm guessing October 16th, they pushed, they pushed this news out at six, seven in the morning. So you do have a day. By what I'm reading here, I have a whole day on Wednesday with Fiat too. I could have done that too, um, but I wasn't up hugely on Fiat. So it was smart just to sit, take the dividend and just keep holding it, you know, like real estate, hold it. You're going to get the monthly. Um, and just keep riding it out, right? You may be down at asset value wise, but over time, say you're still down a couple bucks, over time, the dividend is going to equal out where, hey, I now recovered any loss in stock price on these ETFs. Now everything else will be pure dividend. And that's the hope there, too. That's one of the backup cases 
But now here's the unique case where the uh, actual stock price, the uh, ETF price on MISTI is up. And then you can play that accordingly. Interesting. This is interesting to me. Just, it, you know, I'm not the smartest cupcake. I went to public school. So I'm still trying to figure this out as I go. But if I can double the amount I make for the month versus the dividend and then take the money, you know, say, like I said, average cost basis of 26, I'm up, say, three to four bucks. Take that on next Wednesday. Boom. There's profit. Dividend comes out. X date the next day on the 24th. Fourth, is that what they're doing? Let's go. Where's that distribution schedule? 23rd and 24th is the X date, which you'll see reflected in the stock price and payments. That's extra. But then, then you buy back in later in that day. Once they pay the X date, you watch how the price is handling. Because sometimes it does bounce back after they pay out the dividend and the price goes down, like over here. Let's see. I don't know if Fiat did. Nah. Fiat kind of took the hit after the X dividend date. Bounce down, bounce back up, hovering, hovering, hovering. Now we're going down because Bitcoin's doing really well and Coney's doing good. So, yeah, that was my hedge. That was my like pair trade on a uh, Bitcoin. So Bitcoin and the markets went down. Fiat goes up, and Fiat was going up quite a bit. All right, that's the game today, guys. That's the play for next week. Ten minutes in. Sorry about the long video, but there we go. What do you guys think about that strategy? It makes sense to me if the news is going to come out. And early, we will try that. So let's see here. Let's look at the previous week on the other ones. Read the press. Yeah, it looks like they're coming out early in the morning. October 9th is a Wednesday. They come out 0655 Eastern Time. So I think they do publish it earlier. So get up. Well, you know, trading doesn't start to 930. But yeah, get up in the morning. Come over, check the Yield Max News and say, oh, my gosh. I don't like this dividend. I can make more now if I dump it, blah, 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 and act accordingly. There's the plan. What do you guys think? Let's do it. All right. I will talk to you in the next one. Who knows what the next video is? This, this channel is just me all over the place. And right now, I'm just happy the uh, HVAC breaker is back in and we have AC. And uh, yeah, next is now I'm going to clean out the AC on the Tacoma to see if I can improve the performance of that and get rid of some of the funky smell due to the condensation on the evaporator. Anyway, that's another technical topic. Right now it's ETF day, and I think we got a strategy for next Wednesday. All right, I'm out. Take care. Boom.